Hey, uh, um, it's me, Kyle, um, and uh, this is this video is a little bit different. Um, I've got kind of nothing planned for it because, um, well, you probably read the title and already know what I'm up to here. Um, but I'm kind of I've been um, lucky enough to be invited to um, the Unity News Beta, um, and I've only seen like a, two or three videos really knocking around on YouTube. Um, so I don't know if people like it or knocking it or using Chat GTP. I know some people have done um, comparisons and things like that, and I think again more videos like this for people that are definitely interested in getting into game design. This has also um, piqued my interest because um, I teach. So if I'm teaching either A levels or I'm teaching at degree level, how does this affect? Uh, am I out of a job? How does this affect people? Um, so and uh, so I'm not against it. Um, hence why I'm doing a base and hence why I'm doing this video. Um, but I just want to see how it works. Um, I have some my own suspicions. I think it's probably going to be quite. A, samey um, as chat GTP um, probably the same wording the same terminology um, unless they can really kind of maybe put their you know unity unique unity twist on it we'll never know so I've also opened up um, a unity document here I don't know if I don't know what I'm gonna do um, let's see if we can create a, a first-person character let's see what it does with that as I said, I'm not really too sure. I'm not going to make this video a billion years long. Um, but let's say let's. Um, but the thing is, I want to kind of word it. Let's say I've never done game development before, but I, I have played games. So, how can I create a first person controller? And there we go. So that's all there is. Let's see. It's musing. Let's see what it does. Again, this is beta. So I have um, put some bits and bobs into this. Is it going to give me any code? Nope. Well, I might do. Crikey. A lot of points. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So what's it saying? Uh, to create a first person controller in Unity, you can follow these steps. You can a new game object of a player and add a capsule collider component. This will represent the player's body and prevent them from falling through uh, the floor or walking through walls. Add a new child to that game object. So it's going into quite a fair bit of detail and attach a camera to that component position. I wonder if it would create a new script uh, for the player movement. Get game object in the script, blah, 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 blah. Movement transform, time, blah, 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 time I'm sure. And then it's saying input get access. So this, I thought it would go into new input systems. I've spoken some, to some people within the industry that are actually still using the old input system. So maybe Unity have just gone back to that. Um, the, 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 the jumping functionality. So it's not giving me any kind of code. Um, can you give, give me the code? to create a first person controller. Let's have a look. Let's see what it does. So again, this is interesting. So there we go. So some, maybe someone can create a first person controller. It's grounded it. Does it use the character controller? I'd be really intrigued. I teach people using character controllers. Some people teach using rigid body. I would rather use a character controller because it's got ground. This is using none of those. <laughs> What's it calling up? Is it calling up? Oh, it's calling up the rigid body. That's fair enough. That's okay. I can deal with that. And then it's going into old input system. All right. Let's, let's not even read any of this. Let's see if this moves. So what's the component that we're grabbing? It's grabbing, it's locking the cursor as well. That's interesting. Grounded mouse input. Cool. So we need to put a component here of a, a rigid body in, and then I'm guessing it will sort the camera out for me. Let's see what it's doing. Create a new component first person controller and attach a player game object. Replace the contents of your script with the following code. Okay, then. So let's, uh, I'm just going to copy from here. Uh, let's see what it will do that. Lovely. Let's copy. And let's go into Unity. Let's create script. Let's 
call it first person FPC, first person controller. Let's add our game object of a, not a cylinder, what am I doing? Loading that script. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just delete you for a second. Let's add a caption collider. Lovely, let's just add a rigid body to this. Rigid body, lovely. And neutrality, and let's add the script to the caption. Call this player. Console player, it's good. Sound of a teacher and then console player. Wicked, let's double click into this. Let's paste that code in. Let's see what happens. Um, so I think if you have the basics and you play a lot of games, you might be able to wing it with some really kind of the absolute basics. Um, but I'm not really too sure with the rest of it. Um, let's open the scripts. There we go. Visual Studio is opening. Yeah, I just, I don't know, really. Um, people can get a bit more clever with this. I think you'd be able to do lots of things with it if you do game development already and you get stuck and things like that. But I think the grand basics, because would someone know how to paste the scripts in and how to encapsulate it? Maybe, maybe not. He is talking to the camera as well. La, 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 la. I'm not even going to have a look at it. Let's just save it. And let's see. Um, so it's given us a real basic one. It is using all of the old school inputs. Surprises me. I thought they would kind of push more new input, but I suppose depends where the uh, the AI knowledge drives from uh, derives from, doesn't it? So let's go and add a plane. Let's make that plane a little bit bigger. Top. Cool. Let's look at our, our game view. So it's not attached to our camera at all. We can, I suppose we can do that in a minute. Let's just see if we actually have any basic movement. Oh, there we go. There we go. We have movement. We don't have a jump. We have something, an error here. Variable ground check. The ground is not being assigned. Ah, so it's going to look for. And I've fallen over as well. There we go. That's interesting. So let's have a look here. So ground check is looking for a transform. Let's give it the plane as the ground check. Um, ground mask, nothing. UI. Let's just do nothing at the moment. That's fine. So it's not too bad. Let's see now I've done ground check. Let's go and get rid of that error anyway. Oh dear, what's happened here? So I can move, and then I fall over, but I can still move. Oh, it, oh, oh it's very interesting. With the movement, as I said, I've not read the script or anything. I've just, so the camera's got some movement, so do that means, let's just chuck the camera on the player for now. Zero out camera. So again, I'm trying to go for for a perspective of I've never done games design before, and no, I think it'd be quite difficult for someone to try and figure this out because they're now trying to. Someone wouldn't know how to pair it the camera possibly. Let's have a look. Um, so I can look, I can move, but then I'm gonna. I'm falling, I'm not falling over. This is really weird. What did it actually say? Uh, make sure you create an empty game object as a child of your player. Oh, okay, and assign it to the ground check. Okie uh, dokie, right. So. If you read the instructions, then it will know. But then will someone know this? Let's have a go. So um, that's the actual game object itself. So let's call this game object. Let's 
controller. Just double check. So the script provides basic movement, blah, 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 including walking, jumping, and looking around. You can adjust the speed motion. Blah, blah, blah. Make sure you create an empty BAM object as a child of your player. Ah, child of the player. Okay, so let's do this. Right, so let's call this ground check. Ground check. I've not done this before, but hey, hey let's zero this. So object actually zeroed out. Yeah. Cool, and then ground check. Put that in there. Oh, that give us stability. Let's have a look. Let's press play. Oh, I haven't fallen over. There we go. Oh, no, I have fallen over. So there is some weird stuff going on here. So if we uncheck use gravity. See, interesting, cool, right. There you go, there's a little experiment with it. Let's have a quick look before I end this video. Let's go into let's go like really crazy. So, how can I create a game like <sighs> what's made from Unity? That's pretty. Let's, let's try this. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Will it break it down? What would it do? I think it's going to just give you the basics. Again, so this. If, I think this is why people are comparing to chat GTP. It's not loads different. Um, creating a game like Pokemon Go involves several key components, including location-based gameplay, augmented reality, uh, server-based, blah, blah, blah. So this is quite good that it, I like that it bullet points this out, almost that numbers it out. Uses an AR display Pokemon in the real world, though the device is on the camera. They are implementation, they are foundation, game mechanic, design and implement the game mechanic, such as capturing Pokemon. So let's say, can you expand upon number three? Let's see how clever it is. Again, there's lots of um, policies and procedures coming out around students and learners using AI, using AI like this, and what someone's doing now. So for my, myself, I'm researching, so this should be fine. If I just copied and pasted this and stuck it into an essay, then obviously we have the uh, issue of plagiarism. But what, if you state what you're using an AI for, um, this would be, this is absolutely fine to take um, or to quote this and then obviously write within the appendix um, of what you're researching about what you asked for. So, um, da, 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 capturing Pokemon. This is the core mechanic of the game where the player uses the device to find Pokemon in the real world where we're to implement this. You'll need to create a system of spawning Pokemon in locations with GPS data. You'll need to create a user interface for capturing Pokemon, which could involve throwing a Pokeball or performing some other action. Um, how could I create a Pokemon capture system? So let's see how far and how in depth you need to go. Again, I'm trying to use as less knowledge as possible. Interrupts the server error. Good, cool. Um, just say server error, send that. It's a beta, so if anything goes wrong, it's always good to let them know. Let's copy and paste this and see if we can. Copy. Paste. Question mark. 
using. So it's a bit annoying that I've just it doesn't actually save your chat history at the moment. Hopefully that'll come in later. Oh, okay, so there we go. Breaks it down a little bit more. Nice. Cool. Well, there we go. There's Unity Muse. I think there's a lot more to come. Um, I've seen a trailer where you can create animations, and if you go blend those animations, let's say with Mixamo, for example, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, again, it's Muse, but it's pretty much Chat GTP as well. But there we go. Um, maybe it's more modern. There we go. There we say if we can. Uh, one more thing. Can I create a first person controller using the new input system? Probably should have worded, can you tell me how to do that? Not this way. Weird, but cool. Cool, it does. It does let you know. Would it tell you this, the scripts though? Oh, it does. There we go. Oh, no, it's telling me the same scripts as before. Is it changing it? It is. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's updated the scripts it's done before for you. you've got the same variables, the same variable names as well. And it's just updated it to the new input system. Okay, that's quite cool. I, um, I don't know if ChatGTP does that. I'm going to click like, I like that. Um, edited old script for me. Cool, there we go. So. Um, I hope it print. this will be probably out soon. But um, again, really, really interesting from academia. I think this would be very, very good for research. Um, it could be a really, really powerful tool, but I think um, still the old school ways of learning game design, games development in front of a teacher, um, not for YouTube tutorials and actually practicing that process and experimenting um, with your own things and your own mechanics um, using the scripting API using Unity Learn, they're going to be um, bigger and stronger than um, Unity Muse for now, simply because you won't know the correct terminology, you won't know the right things to say and the right way to say it and implement it into these prompts here. Once you get those that basics under your belt, I think this Unity Muse can be a really, really powerful tool, but for um, absolute beginners, I would say old school way is uh, the best way. Cool. Um, Hope you've enjoyed this weird video. I haven't really done anything it's more sort of spoken about it. Uh, Unity news, really. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, see you soon for my next video.